All right, welcome back. Well, we're going to be talking about hair porosity, right? Yes, hair porosity. Yeah. We'll find out what that is. What exactly what it is. <laughs> welcome to the show. Our guests are Esinam Agbele. She's the cosmetic scientist and founder of Enam Cosmetics. Wow, cosmetic scientist. I love that. Love Thank that title. You. Welcome to the show. And you're here with Ernestina, who's going to be showing us something soon, right? Right. Okay, so what does a cosmetic scientist do? A cosmetic scientist uh, formulates cosmetic products, so skincare products, hair care products, cos uh, color cosmetics. Um, we do the formulation, we do the testing to ensure that um, the products are quality and they are safe for consumers. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So talk to us about hair porosity. What is it and why is it important to know what your hair porosity is? So basically hair porosity is just a fancy term for uh, the rate at which your hair absorbs water. Okay. It has to do with um, the ability of the hair to absorb water mm -hmm. and okay. retain water. Okay. For African hair types, moisture is everything. Moisture is very important in True. our daily hair care regimen. Uh, water softens the hair. It uh, makes it easier to comb, more manageable. Okay. Um, and you notice that when you're under the shower with water running over your hair, mm -hmm. um, the hair is more curly, mm -hmm. more defined. Um, but once you leave the shower and the hair dries, mm -hmm. then it's all frizzy and all of that. So moisture, water is very important for our hair types. Okay, so you want to show us something to help us determine our hair porosity so right how do you know the porosity of your hair whether it's right. highly porous or or not okay okay so there are different tests that you can do okay so Nessina is going to put some of the strands in the water, in the water. okay uh, one of one simple test that you can do is to slide your finger through the hair mm -hmm. if it's low porosity the cuticle has to be smooth. Okay. Um, the higher the porosity, the um, the more rough it is, okay. meaning there are bricks in the cuticle. Oh. Um, yes. So okay. there's So what's what's she doing now? You can see she's got tweezers and she's got some tiny hairs. Right. So in she's there. dropping the hair on the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another way of, of testing uh, whether you have low porosity or hair. Uh, or high porosity. Okay. Um, you would put a few strands of your hair, freshly washed hair, on um, the water. Okay. If it floats on top, it means you have low porosity hair. Okay. Ooh. If it sinks right to the bottom, uh, this one just went down to the bottom. Oh. Uh, that one is still on top. Okay. Of it. So pass me the, the glass. Let's see. Wow, this is interesting. So this one is the high porosity one. Right. The one that sank, sank all right. the way down. This so it's gone it. down into ah, the mouth. There it is. We can see it from here. Let's yeah. see if we can get it for you guys. It, it really is right at the bottom of the glass. And right. you would think a tiny hair maybe wouldn't sink, but this has sunk. Right. So there it is. Can you see at the bottom of the glass, yeah. there's hair. There. That, that's high porosity hair. So it, this, this means that what, it absorbs water very it well. It absorbs water um, very quickly. very well you okay on this level, so then, you see that. And then we've this got one. the low porosity hair which is still floating on top, on top. of the water which right. means it does not absorb, absorb water, water very well yeah. so you see the difference and it's a very simple experiment mm. right. right but right. it's shown us yeah there you go I, I'm, so right I'm on top. actually quite impressed i must say that well yeah. i've never seen water drop to the hair drop to the bottom of water right. like that like before, that before. Yeah. wow yeah. so um high porosity hair can be due to genetic factors okay. Okay. and it can also be due to over processing the hair using mm. too much heat styling tools in your daily regimen or chemical processing for example can okay. make the hair very highly porous mm. so if you know your hair porosity type then it's good to select products that work best for your hair. So porosity. is it better to have low or high porosity hair or is that they both come with their <laughs> They all have their different characteristics but generally the lower the porosity the more healthier the hair is. So this is healthier? Right. The oh. lower porosity is oh, healthier. So you actually don't want it to absorb too much water. Yes you don't oh, want it okay. to absorb. So you want the hair that floats when you put it in water? 
that's right. that's that's the the moral of the story that floats or it's in the middle or it's in the mid middle but doesn't sink doesn't sink if right. it sinks you need some some good moisturizing treatments right. for your hair right okay ah, fantastic okay and that's wonderful education where, where are you online is can people reach you where can people get in yes with you? so um we are on social media okay. on instagram and Facebook as Enam Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. um, you can also find us online on Plentify store. Um, mm -hmm. We ship worldwide. We're on Amazon.com in the US as Fantastic. well. Um, here in Ghana, you can contact us also through our phone number, yeah. uh, 055-372-2602. Feel awesome. free to send us a DM to talk to us, uh, to know more about your hair type and what Right. What, what uh, products will best work for Beautiful your hair? Beautiful products as well. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. To both of Hopefully. you, to Essina, Mente, and Estina. There you have it. Go and do the test and see what type of hair you have. <laughs> okay. And thank you for watching the show. Yeah. Thank you. My All name right. is Kokui Selome Hansen. And I'm David Kokusichi. Have a good day.